Hello everyone. Welcome to course Mechatronic System. I, Assistant Professor Rohit Guhanavar, Department of Mechanical Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Autonomous Kolhapur. Already we have seen some introductory part of the Arduino Uno. Then we already completed the ID of the Arduino Uno. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about some basic programming concept of this Arduino Uno. So already we know this Arduino is a open source software. So you can download it freely from a Google or any net options. So it will be available with the resource of www.arduino.cc. If you go there, you have to see this symbol. You have to see this symbol there. This is a symbol for Arduino ID. So next, how to code in that ID of this Arduino? So for the coding of this Arduino, you know, first you have to download this integrated development environment from a net. This ID is available for all the Mac, that is Apple's, for the Windows and the Linux. So, for example, if you want to download it, just you have to go uh, on a net and just download 1.8.19 Arduino ID. So, this is a one number, 1.8.19. 19 this is a one arduino ide number if you see at the right side here it will show the arduino id of 1.4 uh, 6.4 so there are different versions are available for the this arduino id for the sample just you have to download it this 1.8.9 So once you download this ID, it will show you this screenshot. It will give you this screenshot. Already this screenshot we have seen in a ID. This is the basic screenshot of this ID. Now before going to directly for programming, first you have to check where the board is connected or not. So first you have to click here for these tool options. If you see the ID, so there are, this is a file, edit, sketch, tools and helps option. First you have to click here for these tools. So whenever you have to click it for the tools, then you have to click it for a board. So first you have to click tools, then you have to go for the board and then you have to select the Arduino Uno because we are going to use here for the Arduino Uno. So just you have to select it for a Arduino Uno. So this is the first step. Whenever you have to download the IT, first you have to do this. After that, again, you have to click here for the tools. Again, you have to click here for the tools because after that selecting the Arduino Uno, now it is required to give the serial port. So then you have to click is for a tool, then you have to go for the serial port and then you have to select the COM. Here I will select the COM3. So somewhere it will show the COM4, COM5 also. So generally you have to select the COM3 or COM5. Okay. So for with this, all the peripheral we have connected with these computers using a serial port. You can check your port for the Arduino you know in a device manage. Now next after uh, this uh, continuing now if you see the ID there are two main functions routines or the uh, methods are available on this Arduino ID. So if you see here on the right side it will show and the left side I will give you all the description here. So first it will say as a void setup. So uh, one thing is remember this Arduino ID is a case sensitive. It is a case sensitive. 
so whenever there is a small letter you have to use a small letter whenever there is a capital you have to use a capital if uh, it is required in a small letter but if you use the capital letter it gonna be a wrong it will give the syntax error there so first one is a wide setup and then there are two brackets wide setup and two brackets after that you have to use this curly bracket and you have to close that curly bracket so whatever the in first step you have to just write the main coding in this session where in the whatever you have to write it in a wide setup it will runs only a one so whatever the requirement of this uh, program whenever it will run only once time just you have to write it in a wide setup and next one is a wide loop the second function is a white loop so it will connect that your uh, program in a loop so that it will be a running continuously so whenever it will repeats forever you have to write that code in a wide loop so the method for basic uh, programming just first you have to write the wide setup that is a two brackets and in a curly bracket you have to write the program and at the last again you have to close the curly bracket again the whatever the repeating mode the program is there you have to write it in a wide loop there so if you see in a right side this first portion if you see i will divide in two parts this first portion is your wide setup whereas the second portion is all about your white loop now after that writing this program just you have to click here for the verify and if there is no any errors occur just you have to upload it so that whatever your program written here it will be executed in that your hardware alt now this is a wide setup this is a bare minimum code that is it is required to write that setup it is called only when the arduino is powered on or a reset whenever you have to reset or just you have to just starting the arduino you have to use this wide setup and it is used to analyze the variables and the pin modes next this second one is a loop session this is a loop session the loop functions run continuously till the device is powered off the main logic of the codes goes here so whatever the main program is there just you have to write it in a this portion so in this portion where it can run repeatedly and it will run until you stop that rdin so it will be a continue now the important is a pin mode because already we have seen this arduino has 14 digital input output pins and it has six analog input output pins means each this digital pin or analog pin works as a input as well as output as well as output so it's our task to give the pin mode where it will be work as an input or by a output so whenever you have to give the function as a pin mode just write pin that is a p is a small here pin mode that is m is a capital and in two bracket after write i will show here pin mode and in two bracket first you have to give the pin number here whatever the first written here it is nothing but your pin number means for which pin you have to connect it here so here it is a 13 means it is a digital pin 13 number pins you have connected and after that the next portion after that pin whatever written it will give the status it will give the status of the pin means whether it is a input or whether it is a output whether it is a input or whether it is a output suppose take let's example of this here the return is a pin mode 13 comma output means what here this pin number 13 is work as a output and next one here is a pin mode 13 comma input 
bracket complete the here is a semicolon they have provided so that is here it means that pin number 13 is work as a input always remember it is a case sensitive so whenever you have to write the pin mode the m must be a capital in a mode and whatever the status that is output or input it must be written as a in a capital mode it must be written in a capital mode okay so now again for reading or writing same as it is a pin mode okay like a pin mode just you have to write the digital right it is in a d is a small and w is a capital so whenever you whenever you have to write the this is a digital right okay so first thing whatever you have to return in a bracket so first one is your pin number suppose i will taken it as a 5 I will take it as a 5 comma when I will write it as a low means what means what it means the 5 number pins will go off in here already know the low means off the low means off and high means on so whenever after the pin when you have to given the option as a low it means that whatever your supply is given is to a zero volt so whenever you have to given the supply is a zero volt it will be a off it will be a turn off and when it will give as a high when you have to return it is a high at that time it will provide you the voltage of a 5 volt it will provide the voltage as a 5 volt because generally this alternate you know is works on a 5 volt so it will give the voltage as a 5 volt so at that time the output must be a energized means your it will give the output is a on mode suppose just take i will example digital right 10 comma low it means it means the pin number 10 goes to the low means it will provide it with a zero voltage and it will be a stop it will be a stop this is the to basic of the uh, coding for this Arduino you know thank you